อาเซียนคอนเน็กวันนี้ติดตามปัญหาขาดแคลนน้ำมันในประเทศเวียดนามค่ะพบกับคุณชิวลิปนาคสมภพเราค่ะอาเซียนคอนเน็กวันนี้นะคะเราจะต่อสายตรงไปพูดคุยกับผู้สื่อข่าวจากประเทศเวียดนามค่ะตอนนี้คุณมีนนะคะอยู่ในสายกับเราแล้วจากนครโฮจิมินห์ค่ะจะมาเล่าให้ฟังถึงสถานการณ์ขาดแคลนน้ำมันในโฮจิมินห์ตอนนี้ค่ะ Considering if I don't have to go to gas station and worry whether I gonna be able to fill my tank really no I mean I'm talking about your situation how is it in Ho Chi Minh right now You know now uh, my motorbike is running out of gas already, and but I don't want to go inside the gas station. It's so crowded, and you know it's maybe it take uh, 15 or 20 minutes. Just feel like uh, 50,000. It's around like, uh, 72 baht. I uh -huh. just can't feel that much, and I can use it for like two or three days. How much is it different from just like? A year or two ago, the price is quite uh, not really high, but you know now we kind of running out of gas. Mm. So many gas station uh, not working or overloaded. That's uh, that's the reason why people keep you know long queue uh, before uh, in front of gas station to fill it, and even uh, some sometimes I have to uh, wake up early to get it filled. It's not the problem of pricing. It's the problem of availability, and you have yes. to be there early to make sure you get them. Yes, yes. Now, uh, before it's just only Ho Chi Minh City happened like that, but now uh, also Hanoi and several uh, cities uh, around Vietnam now facing the same situation. How how long it has been like this, though? I think uh, on October. Mm. Until now, you know the fuel crisis still happen. Uh, although the gasoline price rose for the fourth straight time like last Friday, gasoline retailer, you know, just they just complaining that buying from a supplier has been difficult lately, and uh, they themselves are out of inventories mm. and authorities delay in you know adjusting of retail price. But now they are up four times continuously. Uh, they said that like. If they open, they will lose. At the time, you know, nearly 110 out of uh, 550 gas station. It's like a one in five uh, gas station in Ho Chi Minh City are uh, experiencing uh, inventory shortage or you know overloaded. So the gas price in Vietnam is um, according to the government, not not by the mar world market price, right? Yes. Uh, In uh, Vietnam, uh, the, the government tried to make it more accessible for uh, the whole uh, population. That means uh, they uh, have a lot of uh, policies to adjust the price, not necessarily uh, depends on the market price. So sometimes, you know, but I don't know how, why uh, one, one month uh, ago, things just so difficult. Will the government be able to force this gas station to open and sell their gasoline, though? You know, last weekend, our Prime Minister, Phan Minh Chin, has requested the Ministry of Industry and Trade to instruct business to re uh, re ensure oil and gas supplies, uh, preventing shortage from you know, recurring. There's some expectation on this gas station so that the, the government should afraid that uh, the gas retailer, they just keep uh, uh, petroleum for themselves and not right. selling. But until now, I don't, I don't see uh, any change much. And so, they still have a long queue at the station. And now the gas retailer, they put up fences and wire. Oh. to keep the crowd control, you know. So on the other side, it doesn't sound like it's a problem of inventory. It's more like whether the uh, gas company wants to sell it or not because they don't want to lose money. That, that's the problem, yes. right? But then the people need to use it because they have to travel around. They need to use gas. In uh, Ho Chi Minh City, uh, we have around more than 8 million motorbikes. That's a lot. 
even public transport uh, couldn't cope uh, if all commuters, you know, suddenly decided to use today. Some people uh, had run out of gas because ju they're just looking for gas. And last night, uh, I went out to uh, off my newsroom and then I come back home and I tried to fill my gas, but uh, it takes like, around uh, 30 minutes from my newsroom to my home, but I can't find a suitable place for me wow. to refill it. Have you talked to other people? Anyone start talking about, okay, it's time to just get more electric car or ride bicycle or something like that? Yes, uh, they, you know, whenever the gas station price going up and whenever there's a long queue at the gas petrol station, people keep uh, talking and mention about the electric uh, vehicles. Right. Now, they just spread that, but the battery, mm. Somehow, uh, you know, because of it, uh, Ho Chi Minh City is very the always traffic jams around the clock mm -hmm. every day, every week. Oh, and uh, yeah. when you use an uh, electric bike, even you know, it's running out of battery where you can't fill it. Right, so that would be another problem. problem, the recharging yes. station. I think it's the same same uh, thing that for a lot of people in Thailand are not buying EV yet because of the charging station. Well, thank you very yes. much for the story today, Min. Have a good weekend. Bye. Thank you. ก็เป็นอีกหนึ่งสถานการณ์นะคะที่เกี่ยวกับน้ํามันเชื้อเพลิงในเวียดนามนะคะในหลายประเทศที่มีปัญหาน้ํามันแพงแต่ว่าเป็นเพราะในเวียดนามเนี่ยรัฐบาลพยายามควบคุมราคาตอนนี้ก็เลยเป็นปัญหาที่ปั๊มน้ํามันไม่อยากจะขายน้ํามันนั่นเองค่ะก็ต้องมารอดูกันว่าเวียดนามจะแก้ปัญหานี้อย่างไรนะคะและนั่นคือทั้งหมดในอาเซียนคอนเนคชั่น